I've got a really neat mini quiz to give yourself a checkup on how well you're really doing with self-care and your answers may surprise you. Before I jump into the quiz, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Tobias, owner of Tobias Young Fitness, and I help busy professionals lose 20 pounds of fat in 90 days without giving up the foods that they love. So February is all about the heart. I mean, Valentine's Day is just a few days away. Plus, in the U.S., it also happens to be Heart Awareness Month. So heart disease is the number one killer in the United States and in many other countries around the world, including Australia and major parts of Europe. Here's another stat that's super shocking. According to the American Heart Association, about 80% of all cardiovascular disease can actually be prevented. That's amazing, right? 80%. That's why this assessment is so important. So if you're like a lot of people, you're crushing along in some areas of your self-care, but maybe need a little improvement in others, this quiz isn't about being perfect. It's just about taking a great care of yourself because you and your heart deserve it. Okay, ready for the quiz? Grab a pen and paper and write down your answers to these questions. First question, how are you doing in the diet department? Are you eating a healthy, well-balanced diet that includes mostly unprocessed foods? Do you cut back on foods that are high in sugar and instead eat a mostly plant-based diet and eat healthy fats and proteins? Take a second to think about what you have eaten over the past week, all the meals, plus any snacks you've eaten. What grade would you give yourself on a scale of one to five? Are there some things that you can easily change to boost your grade? Okay, here's how you're gonna keep score. If 20% or less of your meals were healthy, then what I want you to do is give yourself a one, okay? If um, like 30 to 40% were healthy, then I want you to give yourself a two. If about 40 to 60% of your meals were healthy, give yourself a three. If about 60 to 80% of your meals were healthy, give yourself a four. If 80% or more of your meals were healthy, give yourself a five. Remember, this isn't about being perfect. It's just about actually seeing what you're doing on an everyday basis. So write down your score or at least remember it because you're going to need it later. Okay, second, exercise and daily movement. Nearly every health organization recommends you get at least 30 minutes of exercise most days of the week for heart health. Okay, you can, you know, rack up your minutes over the course of a day or you can get it done all at once. So this could be walking, you know, during a workout, uh, dancing, gardening, anything else that keeps you moving. Here's how to score your activity. And let's count 20 minutes or more of intentional exercise. So a brisk walk even counts as activity for the purpose of this quiz. So if you've only been doing one day in the last week, give yourself a one. If you've been active for two days, give yourself a two. If you've been active for three days, give yourself a three. If you've been active for at least four days of the week, give yourself a four. And if you've been active for five or more days, give yourself a five and a high five. So now give yourself a score on a scale of one to five. Third is gonna be your sleep. Studies show that getting less than seven hours of sleep a night on a regular basis is linked with all kinds of ailments that includes heart disease, stress, inflammation, high blood pressure, uh, and the dreaded weight gain. So are you getting enough sleep? If you're not, is there anything that you can do to make it happen? Do you need to go to bed a little bit earlier to create a nighttime routine or take some other type of action? It's amazing how much better you feel when you get a great night's sleep, okay? So to give yourself a score for each of the last seven days that you've gotten seven or more hours of sleep, give yourself a point, up to five points total. Okay, got your number? Okay, so how are you doing so far? Still with me? Give me a like if you are. All right, here's the fourth thing, meditation, prayer, gratitude, practice. Okay, studies show that these practices actually help your heart health. So do you spend at least a couple minutes a day focused on reducing stress and feeling grateful? This can take a lot of forms. It can be simply, you know, sitting and breathing. It could be praying, taking a walk in nature, journaling. To give yourself a score for at least every single day in the last seven days where you've done some sort of a prayer, meditation, or gratitude practice, okay? Give yourself a point, up to five points total. So fifth is knowing your numbers. When was the last time you had your blood pressure and cholesterol checked, okay? 
This is good to know for everyone, but it's especially important if you're over 40, okay? It's definitely worth asking your doctor about. So to give yourself a score, give yourself a one if you have no idea what your numbers are. Give yourself a three if you've had your numbers checked within the last three months. And give yourself a five if you've had your, your numbers checked in the last 30 days. And last but not least is smoking, okay? I'm not gonna lecture you because you already know the deal. So if you do smoke, I highly encourage you to ask your doctor about getting some help to quit. But there's so many other avenues available nowadays to make it a little less challenging and the payoff is definitely worth it. So here's your scoring. There's no gray area on this one. If you smoked anything, even a single cigarette in the past seven days, give yourself a zero, okay? If you haven't, give yourself a five. Okay, so the areas we went over are nutrition, exercise, sleep, stress reduction, as well as knowing your most recent health stats. Add up all your scores. The highest possible score is 30. So what number did you get? How'd you do? If you scored over 25 points, that's amazing. Good for you. If you gave yourself a score below 25, chances are you've gotten an area or two that you want to work on to bring up your overall number. Remember, it's actually not about passing a quiz, but about feeling healthier, more energized, and getting the most out of your days. Maybe you're doing amazing with sleep and exercise, but you want to improve in the areas of nutrition or the stress relief or vice versa. It's time to come up with an action plan. So as I mentioned earlier, this isn't about being perfect, but coming up with strategies to make self-care an enjoyable part of your lifestyle and taking great care of your heart, okay? If you're looking for a sounding board or coaching, I can help you come up with strategies that work for your lifestyle, okay? Just comment Lean Lifestyle below if you would like to get a little bit more info on how we can work together to improve your lifestyle habits. So thank you for watching and I appreciate your support more than you know.